Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the GE Dishwasher Lower Dish Rack Roller Kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the roller and the axle. The main reason you'll be changing out the lower dish rack roller is if the axle or the wheel is damaged and it's not allowing the rack to go in and out. In order to change out the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door and remove the lower dish rack. Now that we have the dish rack out of the dishwasher, we can take the silver basket out of it and flip it over so we can change the part. In order to get the lower dish rack roller off, all we have to do is unsnap it right here from the rack and pull it off. Here's the old roller next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're showing you how to change this style of lower dish rack roller. But as you can see, GE has many different styles and combinations that they've used over the years. Some of them, you get the axle and the roller together. Others, you have to buy separate. Sometimes the locking mechanism is a little bit different. G also has this new design that uh, comes all together, but it's the same thing. It has two locking clips on the back, and the rack pins go in the holes. But in general, they all go on the same way. When you get the part, they're not going to come put together, so you have to snap the axle into the wheel. Once you have it in, all you have to do is put this part of the dish rack into the wheel and snap it into place. Now that you're done with the repair, you can flip the dish rack back over and put the silver or basket back in. We can put the lower dish rack back in, close the door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and give it a whirl. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.